It's time now to check out BMW's all-new R1200S. First launched back in 1988 as the R1100S, recently BMW Motorrad went back to the drawing board to produce what you see here. Powered by the latest generation 1200cc fuel-injected twin-plug boxer, this new high-compression motor is said to produce just over 120 horsepower. As you cast your eyes over the S, you'll notice the new three-piece frame sports a telelever fork up front, while out back, the power is delivered by a BMW's paralever shaft drive system. Note the three-way catalytic exhaust now exits under the seat, giving the bike a distinct wasp-like profile. This week, in order to get the full moving picture, we invited Mr. George Morin to lend us a hand. Canada's very first superbike champion just recently returned to racing, and he still loves to fly close to the ground. So George, I know you've ridden a lot of leader bikes over the years, a lot of leader sport bikes over the years, but I thought this might be an interesting departure. What did you think of this bike? What was your first impression? Well, my first impression was I didn't know what to think of it. It didn't do things I'm used to doing, and it did things that I was surprised it could do. It's a fabulous motorcycle. That's the word I can use, fabulous. It's got all kinds of goodies on it. It's got all the options you can get with this model. And um, it definitely wants to go to the racetrack. And you'll certainly go around corners faster than you ever thought possible. So what did you think of the torque, the acceleration, the sound? Well, the sound's fabulous. It comes out the back. It's got dual mufflers on the back end. And uh, it just sounds like a um, a twin motor doing its job. It's, as far as the power goes, there's no real power below 5,000 RPM. Once you get to 5,000 RPM, you open the throttle, and if you're half asleep, you'll be definitely awake. <laughs> it, has, it has serious jam, as I like to say, and it's got power galore after 5,000. It is not a rocket out the stoplight, it's yep. not a dragster. It's a, uh, the first gear is very high, and all the gears after that are very close. So it's definitely race orientated. Right, right, definitely. Well, we know it goes. What about stopping? How did you like the brakes? It's got ABS brakes on it, and the brakes are fabulous. They're just, they haul you down with no effort whatsoever, and they work. I don't, can't imagine them working better, let's put it that way. Tell me about the layout of this area and, and the information you get. What did you think? It's got everything you want. It doesn't have a fuel gauge, but when you run low on fuel, a little light will come on and it'll give you how long you've got to uh, till you actually run out of gas. In other words, kilometers to go. Right. Uh, everything else is functional, um, if that's a word. Tachometers right here, speedometers right here, information, your time, your trips. Uh, over here, you can adjust the trips. You can turn the ABS off if you do go racing, if that's what you want to do. Right. The, uh, over here, well, we have our high, low, horn. Here's our current signal for the left turn signal for the right, cancel, heated grips, which is a nice feature. Yeah, did you like the oh, chance yeah. to use those? I, I love that. The mirrors have signals in the front, very adjustable, very easy to see out of the back. They don't get, your elbows don't get in the way. I, I think everything here is a well thought out of, uh, thought of. Uh, the back brake, the gear shift lever, everything on the bike. You can see if you look closely, you can see they've been thinking, they've, been, they've taken the lessons from other bikes, and, and also lessons from other years of making bikes, and I think this is their uh, this is their their bike, and it's it's a gorgeous piece. The finest hour. I would say this is the finest hour, but give it six months. <laughs> so, who would you recommend this bike to? I'd recommend it to somebody who would like to go for track days, who would like to have a machine that does something really well, uh, somebody who wants to become a better uh, um, maybe street driver or a racer, this is the bike that'll raise your, uh, raise your bar. So George, is there anything you would change? No, I think they've done a, uh, for me, they've done a fabulous job. I love driving it, I love getting up in the morning and taking for a ride. It's definitely not somebody you want to take a two up passenger, so you can if you want, but it's, uh, it's an experience that uh, you and you alone and the bike can experience wherever you go. And uh, it'll get you there fast. Great job, George. I'm really glad you, uh, you had Thank some you. fun on this one. I did. <laughs>